Today we are going to remove a screw back watch case, identify and change a battery and fix a watch that does not respond to a battery change. Things you're going to need. Kitchen towel, a flathead screwdriver, a soft cloth, and obviously a broken watch. And if the watch is not responding after a battery change, we're gonna need some of this, WD-40. You've got a watch and the battery's run out on the watch. You need to change the battery. There's two ways to get the back of the watch. This back bit here, usually stainless steel. One, if you look, these two watches kind of look the same. They've got these kind of pips on them, look. If you look, see that dip there, there's dips that go across. See those dips? This one's got the same thing, dip. They've got dips on them, right? This one here opens as a pop-off. There's a small lip which allows you to get a butter knife or a small screwdriver and pop it off and then it comes off. So it doesn't need to unscrew. Then you've got this one here, which looks the same, but hasn't got that, that small lip. And there is a special tool to unscrew that. But obviously if you're in your house and you don't have that tool, you have to make do with what you've got. So you can use a screwdriver right but also use something like a tissue or something like that i've got a tissue here or a cloth something to so you don't get scratch marks on your watch and then just target one of these pips or these dips target one dip and push it anti-clockwise push it anti-clockwise so Like that, you get it in and then you use a bit of pressure, apply pressure and just push it anti-clockwise. And then you can see it, it unscrewed. Have a few attempts, but don't put too much pressure on it first. And then you can see that it will unscrew. So I hope you can see that and then it unscrews. As long as you do it anti-clockwise, you should be fine. And there you go, you've got your watch back off. Just make sure you use some sort of instrument, not too sharp, get it into that dip there, and then push anti-clockwise to open it. Anti-clockwise. And you'll have to do that a few times before it actually unscrews and comes off. If you look closely, you might see the thread on that, that watch there. Now you've got the watch back off. Now with this watch, it was sitting around for a while. And obviously you don't know what battery it is. So a trick you can use First, you take this plastic bit off. It should pop out. Now, to get the battery out, there's just a tiny, tiny kind of clasp there, right there. It's very small, but that's holding the battery in. Pull that, yeah, that's it, sorry. Just pull that, that clasp that I was talking about, just pull it towards you, I mean, away from you like that, and it just pops out. That gets the battery out now. The battery, obviously, is a unique battery. So you have to know the battery which you're going to replace. So what I usually do is just use a magnification on your phone. Now we're on the phone, we're on a camera now, so you can actually see it. Let's have a look. This one is, turn it round. So you can see quite clearly, that's the LR. Nine is that nine two one? 
LR921, usually I'll take a photograph of it and then I will zoom in on a photo and then I would actually see what that is. That would be the best way to identify the battery. So you put it in the opposite of that little bit that was holding it in, the opposite first and then just push it and it goes in. With a watch that's been sitting around or some other watches, I've noticed that when you put new batteries in it, it still doesn't work. So this one at the moment, yeah, see, sometimes it just don't work, right? When you put a new battery in it. Let's just have a look here, make sure the battery's in properly. But with, it, with a case like that, what you have to do is look at the mechanism is if it's a quartz mechanism running via a battery like it is now or some sort of mechanism like this what i tend to do is use this wd-40 yeah use wd-40 and only squirt a minimal amount into you'll see some little holes some areas that you might be able to get some of this oil in. So just put a little bit in, not much, very, very small, just like that. Do that a couple of times, one, that's even too much. After you've squirted some WD-40 on the back, turn it round and let any excess run out into a tissue as we're holding it here, just let that excess run out so it doesn't run towards the watch face and cause any screen problems there. Once you've done that, you can actually now put the watch back together. I don't know if you can see that, this has to be aligned and dipped in. Right, and then you can carry on and tighten it further. That's it, nice and tight, it's done. So that's all you've got to do. And you can change a watch without having that special tool to undo the back. So in summary, use a tool, just a common screwdriver, use something like a cloth so that you don't slip and scratch the back of the, the watch. Once you've identified the battery, then if it still doesn't work after replacing it, squirt a couple of squirts of WD-40 to get the movement working again and then replace the back and that's all you've got to do thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for more tricks and tips and i hope to see you again thanks